I'm Alex Williamson. I'm the product director for um, the LDS range of Brill and Care's vibration systems. And back in 2014, I initiated a project based on some strong market demand for a new high force air cooled shaker that was very reliable with lots of uptime. Something our customers regularly tell us is that they're testing larger and more complicated payloads and they're suffering sometimes um, unreliability of their shaker systems due to these payloads. We, we've listened very carefully to this and we've designed a new shaker system, the V8900, um, with a three kilonewton meter overturning moment. The reason for that, as you can see from this, this payload here, the center of gravity of the payload is not always over the center um, of the shaker and as a result overturning moments can arise from left to right and also in the other axis. For the shaker to be reliable it needs to be able to withstand those overturning moments. The V8900 is a ground up all new shaker and it incorporates a hydrostatic bearing um, inside of it, very similar to those used in our V900 series high end water cooled shakers and this provides a 3 kilonewton meter overturning moment restraint um, to be able to react the overturning moments created from payloads from an offset centre of gravity and also from the resonant behaviour of the payload. One of the reasons customers are increasingly testing larger payloads is to provide a more representative environment for their, for their items. For example, if a small item is required to be tested, historically that could have been tested just on a shaker. But a better test result will be achieved by testing it as part of a larger assembly where it will be located. Hence, a number of smaller items can be included in one large payload. It has been possible in the past to increase the overturning moment restraint of a system by incorporating a guided head expander. However, with the V8900 with its 3 kilonewton meter overturning moment restraint, there is a reduced need for guided head expanders and this in turn reduces both the complexity and the cost of the system.